Bitch, I'm me hurting, and I think she did it on purpose. I can't fuck with the hate, I'm allergic. I feel like they had me on standby. See the pain in my damn eyes. What's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking about the Denver Nuggets in my 2017-2018 NBA preseason rankings. Uh, the first thing to think about when talking about the Nuggets now is excitement. Uh, it's been a while since the Nuggets have had really a team that could compete in the West. And uh, this offseason, they were able to kind of complete their roster and uh, put together a pretty, pretty solid team. So uh, the big addition to the team was Paul Millsap. Uh, he's an all-star level player, uh, and I think he match, or pairs up well with Nikola Djokic. Uh, I think they will form one of the better front courts in the league. Uh, they can match up now with anyone uh, physically in the West. Uh, and so, you know, that gives them an advantage over teams like the Warriors if they want to kind of pound it inside. Uh, the big loss for them this offseason was Danilo Gallinari. Uh, he's on the Clippers now. And I think that's actually a big loss. Uh, I think Gallo was an underrated player in this league. Uh, and so it's going to be hard to replace him. I think uh, the roster I'm looking at, or the website I'm using, has Wilson Chandler starting at the wing now. Uh, he's getting up there in age. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what he has left in the tank. Uh, maybe they'll make a trade sometime this season to kind of acquire another wing. Uh, we'll have to see. But I think uh, Gallo is a huge loss for him. I uh, already spoke on him a little bit, but Nikola Djokic had an outbreak season last year. Uh, really turned into one of the better centers in the league. Uh, he can just do a lot, you know, really good footwork in the post. Excellent passer for a big man. Uh, posted, I, f I believe, a few triple doubles. So uh, hopefully he can grow on that and uh, become like a dominant player in this league. Uh, I think that'd be great for him. And then uh, Jamal Murray, you know, Looked like a solid player. I believe they kind of play him at the one. So uh, hopefully he can kind of just develop that skill set. And uh, we'll see where it takes him. Uh, just to look at the starting lineup. They have Jamal Murray at the one. Gary Harris at the two. Wilson Chandler at the three. Paul Millsap at the four. And Nicola at the five. And then coming off the bench. They have Emmanuel Moutier. Who according to this website put up 19 and 6 last year. So... I mean, that's a six-man-of-the-year candidate right there. Uh, Will Barton, who I know was a six-man-of-the-year candidate last year. Uh, Trey Lyles. Uh, Mason Plumley, who they just signed to a big deal. And then uh, they still have Kenneth Fareed, but uh, I think he's not the player he used to be. But uh, this is an exciting team. Uh, I definitely think they will make the playoffs if they remain healthy. Uh, last year, they were competing for a spot. I think they'll be around 44, 45 wins, somewhere around there, and a 6-8 to eight seed for them. Uh, I think that'll be a successful season for them. So uh, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later.